Hey Eagles, what's going on? It's Coach Perkins again. Um, I am coming to you on Sunday evening and I just hope that y'all are doing well. I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful weekend. At least today was really nice. Yesterday had some rain, but it's still some good time to be outside when it stopped. And then this last week, I hope y'all did well as y'all settled into a different routine. Um, before I get started with today's activity, I want to give y'all a quick shout out um, about all the activities that y'all have sent in to me, emailed me, videoed, uh, sent me videos and pictures. I am just, um, I had so much fun looking at those and seeing the obstacle courses and the games y'all created. And parents, the way uh, y'all emailing me and let me know all the activities y'all did at home and the ways y'all stayed active just made me so happy. And it was so great hearing from all of y'all. Y'all had some really fun, creative things that y'all did. I think it was Owen Lays that did rollerblading inside their house playing hockey. I mean, how awesome is that? That is fantastic. So just way, uh, good job, way to go, keeping, keeping active and staying moving during this crazy time. So today I'm bringing you an activity. Um, I did this um, my first year of teaching at Forest Heights, and I did it, um, I think, a couple of years when I was in the classroom as well. But what we're going to do today is build some jump ropes. So this is a great project that you can do at home. You can recycle your bags, give it some purpose, and stay moving in your home. This is also a great way to make a safe jump rope to do it at house. So my son was jump roping with a regular jump rope and hit Charlie, and that did not feel good to him. So this is another way to stay safe and moving inside because getting hit by these ropes will not, uh, these bags will not hurt you, okay? So you're going to start off with two uh, bags as you get going on your little chain here. You're going to um, spread it out making sure all the air is out of it and then you're going to make a knot in the middle of the bag and then where the handles are you'll make a knot about four inches underneath the handles or so i might have made that one a little high but that's okay all right so initially two knots in your bag all right then you're going to take your second bag and do the same exact thing try to get that air out of it make a knot in the middle And then one underneath the, oops, underneath the handles. Eh, both of those I did a little high, but that's okay. All right, then you're gonna take the ends where the handles are not, and you're gonna tie those in a knot. Say what you're going to need for this project are plastic bags, duct tape, and scissors. I should have said at the beginning. So the scissors you're going to take and you're going to get those kind of hanging pieces off so it stays nice and smooth, all right? So you're going to keep getting your knots and you're going to keep tying them um, in kind of a chain down the line until you get two just like this, all right? So once you have your two ropes, you are going to take the handles at the top and you are going to, hold on one second, sweetie, okay? About, come over here so the bugs don't get you. Okay, then come sit over here so the bugs don't get you, okay? That'd be fine. All right, so you loop one rope inside the other, just like this, kind of making a T. And then you're going to take that rope and loop it inside itself. And then you will pull until it kind of knots. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, I accept your apology. Until it comes into one knot, okay? So then you have your jump rope. I'm gonna stand up. Um, so as you know, when we do our jump roping, you wanna make sure you test your rope that it's long enough. So you would put your feet in the middle and then you would hold up your handles. You want the handles to go under your arms. So this one would be too short for me. So I already made one with my height, just like this. So I would step in the middle and as you can see, it goes right under my arm. So that's what you want. I also added duct tape at the bottom to help with, uh, kind of give it some weight so it can turn and hit the ground properly. And I added some uh, duct tape to the side to give it some weight as well. So you can add as much duct tape as you want onto your rope so it's not as airy and it has more um, weight to it as you turn it. And I also added duct tape on the handles to give it some grip as well. So once you have your jump rope, you can take it for a spin. All right. And you have your very own at home 
jump rope that you can do inside. So um, that's just a fun way to stay active, have a little project, get moving. And then we're gonna use these in a couple of weeks as well as a net. And I have a fun project that I found where you can uh, make paddles out of cereal boxes. So that'll be our next thing that we get going on. So I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you enjoy your jump rope. As always, I miss y'all, I love y'all. And um, y'all just stay safe. All right, see y'all later.